So we're all aware that having a lot of soil life is beneficial when growing plants and food naturally. But what if your soil lacks optimal levels of life? In this video, I'll walk you through three ways to increase soil bacteria to help you grow better crops. People often get carried away with fungi, but bacteria have an extremely useful tool. Rapid multiplication is a major advantage. It means they can cycle and produce a large amount of nutrients quickly in and around plant roots. But what can you do to increase the number of soil bacteria if you already have a low population? Here are my top three tips. Number one, check that the soil conditions are adequate. When I say check soil conditions, I mean look at the air in the soil. You should aerate the soil on a regular basis, or at the very least, time it, especially if you're using a no-dig system, which means you can't turn the soil over. You will also want to ensure that the soil has adequate moisture and that it is well-fed with high-quality organic matter. Applying a well-made organic compost will not only add more bacteria of the right type if done correctly, but it will also feed the existing microbes, help maintain porosity and air in the soil, and regulate soil moisture levels, all of which are important in driving microbial activity. On number two, add bacterial products. If the conditions are suitable for receiving and breeding bacteria, you could try adding various strains of key species such as nitrogen fixing bacteria. There are various strains available on the market that you could try alongside other functional bacteria, but they should be adapted or native to the climate in which they will be used. It is critical for them to provide any short, medium, and long-term benefits. They need to be adapted so that they thrive rather than just survive. At last, feed bacteria directly. This refers to the appropriate types of food that nourish and stimulate their reproduction and population growth. Foods composed of simple sugars and carbon compounds are easily digestible and accessible to these simple bacteria. They enjoy it, and it provides them with the motivation they need to grow quickly and do their thing. Molasses and sugar-based products, such as brown sugar, are excellent starting points, and the best part is that they are often available in organic form in shops or supermarket aisles. So there it is, my top three tips. Number one is to ensure that the soil conditions are good. The second step is to add microbial products. The third option is to feed the organisms directly. I hope you found the video useful. If you have anything to say about it, please leave it in the comments section and consider subscribing to the channel.